When we think of nuclear energy, we think of these big cooling towers in the distance and kind of the mystery of these giant nuclear plants. What do they do and are they dangerous? Well, there's a renaissance going on in nuclear energy and joining me now is the founder of a company called Nano Nuclear Energy and that's J.U. Jay, welcome to Studio 9. And in addition to Jay, we also have the head of the development of the nano reactor, and that's James Walker. Uh, this is an exciting time for nuclear energy. So Jay, tell us about nano. Nano meaning very small. A reactor that could fit in the back of a truck? Uh, with material science uh, catching up now, that is possible. Uh, where there's a nuclear renaissance, there's all this new technologies coming out. There's so many startups too popping up left and right. And Nano in the past few years ha has created something very special. Uh, we focus on, like you said, building a, essentially a nuclear battery on a truck to replace diesel generators. And with that, you know, we have to recruit the best of the best across the world. Um, I was able to recruit a rock star CEO and our head of reactor development, James Walker, who's on with me right now. Uh, we've, we've, again, not just built reactors, but we're focusing on Kind of the whole supply chain of nuclear with cop 28 and dozens of countries now committing to tripling nuclear uh, by 2050 there's a there's a huge catalyst here for companies like nano nuclear climate change is a very big concern for many many people and one benefit of nuclear power is no emissions at all lots of power and no emissions and that's a pretty needed thing right now James, let me ask you a question. You've been in charge of scaling the nuclear power plant down to a tiny little thing in the back of potentially a truck. Well, how the heck have you done that, James? How are you working on that? Well, I mean, it's it's taken a lot of very clever people working on this, and I wouldn't say it was even possible in the past. It, 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 has, it has required advancement in material science. Very experienced individuals have been operating in the nuclear world for a long time, but the way it had to be done was you had to take um, fuel and enrich it a little bit. You had to remove mechanical parts, pumps, and, and really look at simplifying the design as much as possible. But that actually leads to a much safer reactor. I mean, it leads to much lower capital costs. And eventually, you know, you get to where we are now. Where we have something that can fit on the back of a truck that can go anywhere in the world, like a road, or a train, or a shipping container. It's finally possible, and we can, diesel generators have never had a rival in remote locations, uh, mining spaces, low habitation, shipping, anything like that. But this should be a game changer now. We should be able to eventually deploy these reactors all around the world to replace diesel generators and we'll get to a point where it's cheaper than remote diesel costs. In theory, I mean, this opens doors to all kinds of things. I mean, you could put a, a tiny reactor in a remote village and give electricity to places that never had it. Of course, the climate change issue. When do you see this becoming common? When this could be commercially everywhere? Uh, it's gonna take, take time, obviously. The longest lead time is licensing with the regulatory um, authorities in the US. Uh, but we anticipate this in past 2030, I would say. And yet, you know, our seed investors in our company were the former C-level executives of the largest transportation company in the world. So they saw the vision like we saw, uh, you know, being able to do, bring a portable nuclear battery across the world to remote areas, even tons of these these tropical areas that need that. And, and there's, they're trucking in tons of, of fossil fuels and we can replace that and decarbonize that wow. as well. Jay and James, we're all going to be watching closely for nano nuclear energy. Thank you for talking with us. More information, go to our website, ktsm.com. Click on that Studio 9 tab.